Okay then, so I've got a perfect problem for you if you're looking for something really, really challenging but really easy to get started on. So it's a problem about number theory and it's to do with factoring numbers. So um, a factor of a number is just a number which divides into it. For example, 2 is a factor of 10 because like 10 divided by 2 is an integer integer is a whole number, okay? So this problem is about something called perfect numbers. Perfect numbers are very very interesting because they're so mysterious. We know so little about them um, even though we've been studying them for about 2,000 years. So um, what is a perfect number? Well, if you get a number you can think about all the factors of that number. That is all the things that divide into it. So let's do an example. Let's look at 10. So what are all the numbers which divide into 10? Well another way of saying it is what are all the numbers, what are all the pairs of numbers that you can times together to get 10? Well you can get 1 times 10 so 1 and 10 are factors of 10 and you can get 2 times 5 And that's it. So the factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Okay? Now let's just um, only think about the factors of 10 which are less than 10. Okay? So we'll forget about that one. So we'll call these the proper factors. Just make up a name for it. Okay? So the proper factors of a number are the things that divide into it which are smaller than it. Okay? So, a perfect number is equal to the sum of its proper factors. So, let's just try and find a perfect number, shall we? Is 10 a perfect number? Well, what are the proper factors of 10? 1, 2 and 5. So, let's add those together. 1 plus 2 plus 5. That's what? 8. It's not 10, is it? So, 10 is not perfect. So what, what is a perfect number? Well, how about 6? Well, 6, what are its factors? 6 equals 6 times 1. And it's also equal to 3 times 2. Okay? So the proper factors of 6 are 1, 2, and 3. And if we add those together, 1 plus 2 plus 3, we get 6. So, case or are, we have a, our perfect number, which is 6. Now, my question to you is, what is the next perfect number? And it's quite challenging. See if you can have a go. Find the next perfect number, which is bigger than 6. And... If you're feeling really adventurous, see if you can go further. See if you can find the next perfect number after that. And so on. I mean, um, there's a lot of fun to be had here, and there's some really interesting theory as well, but you don't need to know any theory to have a go at this problem. I'll, um, I'll tell you that the next perfect number after 6 is less than 30. Okay, So you're not going to have to go to the moon and back to find it. Um, but after that, you have to search quite a long way to find these perfect numbers. Now, like I say, very little is known about perfect numbers. They're actually intimately related to prime numbers in a way which I'm not going to talk about. But, well, um, let me just say, no, actually I won't discuss it because I just want to give you the puzzles. So, what about the open problem related to perfect numbers? Well, it's very interesting. 6 is an even number, and it's perfect. And so far, all of, the even num all of the perfect numbers which people have found have been even. Okay? So, the question then is, are there any odd perfect numbers? Nobody knows. Nobody has any idea. So, um... I think many people suspect that there are no odd perfect numbers, 
but no one's sure. So if you find some argument which um, set, which concretely implies that there are no odd perfect numbers, then you've um, solved one of the great problems of mathematics. Alternatively, uh, if you find a odd perfect number, then again you've solved one of these great problems. So, um, very interesting thing, pretty well worth having a look at I think.